We're gonna go assess the damage around town. Maybe there's some people out there that need some help. So we're gonna go look around and see if we can maybe help some other people. Oh, look at this. Yeah, wow. it's all oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks like we're probably gonna be moving into this house for a few months. I don't know. Yeah, I'm in like tears for them. <laughs> this is a floating floor. It's floating. It's, it's literally like five inches up off. It's kind of sad now. It's like, now what? <laughs> Now that things are starting to slow down a little bit in here, we're gonna go assess the damage around town. Uh, apparently there were some rocks and dirt and some crazy we'll just go around. cliffs that came down. Anyway, Grizzly. we're gonna go for a ride. Now the little kids are gone. Grizzly. The reason the little kids left is just to get us to a point where they weren't concerned and worried and running around being crazy. So we're, we appreciate Sarah's mom for taking care of that. Um, we've gotta go see, maybe there's some people out there that need some help. So we're gonna go look around and see if we can maybe help some other people. And I have to give my wife a hug because I know her <laughs> nerves are shot right now. <laughs> and it's all good. It is, everyone's fine. Everyone's safe and I just don't know what to think right now. How, how are we supposed to sleep? And we have so much going tomorrow. <laughs> so much going. I know. Everything's gonna be all right. So it's times like this you have to think about what you have, not what just got ruined or what you don't have. Some people don't even have a home to go to. We do, it's all good, even if it is wet. And our couch and our new chair in the basement is okay. <laughs> yeah. We'll get through it. It's gonna be a very interesting month, guys. And a very interesting month. It's gonna take at least a month, there's only if not two months. Two TR, how long did it take days, you? 14. Uh, 90 days, three months? We were, yeah, we were in the hotel for three months. Oh, okay, oh this is gonna be a long three months. We'll be all right, we'll get through it. Let's go yeah, for a ride, guys. Ready for the family reunion and Thanksgiving. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Here let's do this. Oh, we're eating cookies. I need some ice cream. We're stress eating. Uh -huh. I need some ice cream. Hey, at least it's not 110 degrees outside right now. That's true. Mm -hmm. What if tomorrow the after the storm comes is 110 degrees with 100% muggy, muggy, muggy. Oh. All the mosquitoes are gonna be like. Oh. Yes, that's true. In it's our basement. Okay, I just want to check really quick you know what our basement looks like right now. It's been about a half hour since I've been down there, with at least a gallon per minute coming in. Okay, we're down to a little bit of a trickle, guys. Okay, it is well, uh, it's, it's to the stair for sure. That bin is floating, we still got lots of water coming in. And someone, who's in here? What's that noise? What was that noise? Something's happening guys in here. Okay, something happened in there and I don't know what. Um, okay, well, something happened down there. I heard a crash. I just heard a crash in the basement. But I'm not gonna go try to find out what it is. We already know that it's all gone, right? It's not a big deal. Something just fell down, I don't know what it was. We definitely got some water in here. Not a lot though. This isn't terrible. How do I get in? <laughs> I don't know if you wanna get in at this point. Should we try to push it back up? Yeah, for me as well. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Did you put your hand in it? Mm. <laughs> I don't think it's my hand that smells. Look at this line. Mm. It's it's disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> Gross. No. I didn't That's get any of it. Do it. I didn't get any on me either, but I'm just making a hundred percent sure. <laughs> Well, we did our good deed, I guess. The whole thing came down. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. It's all water. Oh my gosh. Look at that whole field is just water. Oh my gosh. Water looks beautiful. Look at this. It didn't oh even God. fill up the pool. We didn't even hardly get any rain over here, I guess. Yeah. Look how nice this water is like back in Yeah, we barely got any water. Look at this. Yeah. Like I literally... Looks fine in here. Good. Why am I turning on the flashlight? Why don't I, just I don't know. Yeah, it's the storm didn't even hit this place very hard. The pool is clean, like there's nothing even in it. Mm -hmm. If that was the if that if we, that got hit as hard as our other house, that would be full to the top and it would be overflowing. Yeah. yeah. Please say oh. this: if you were stranded on a flooded road, 
able to safely main, remain in your vehicle when the flashers are on, do so. Wait out the rain at high water. Currently, tow services and first responders are focusing on life oh, safety wow. and road closures to prevent. So there's people issues. out there that are probably saying why. Safe like, from like, emergency video yeah. here. Bye bye, uh, rule number one house. That we're all so into. glad. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're probably going to be moving into this house for a few months. I don't know. That's really throwing, that's stretching it. it that might not be true, but we may need to do something. TR? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we have so much going on tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is usually just a trickle. This is where we caught the frogs. Dang. The trail's gone. That's the trail. Yeah, the trail right there. Whoa, look how far, look how deep that is. Yeah, I'm gonna move out of the way. That's way deeper than I thought. So, Jace brought a pump. Because his house flooded too, but it didn't go into the house, it went into their gym. They were able to pump out the water as it was coming in. We didn't have that option. Oh my god! Can you believe that? It's done. Our basement's done. It's gone. That's five inches. Oh, it's easy. More than that. There's Jace. This is our baseboards are six-inch baseboards, and it's all the way to the top. We got boots. We got boots. Well, that's a good idea. We have the glass crunching. Everything's so Wow, look at that. Look at the bubble on the floor. Yeah. I don't think there's like much that you can. Yeah. That's just a long way for it to go. Oh, crap. It's what? fine, we can dry it. What? It's okay. Just, uh, it's a DC crap. What happened? Okay, go ahead and let it box. down, Jay. Oh. We can dry it out. Put it in rice. This one's okay, Branson. Unkinked that. Yep. We should just take the toilet off of its, off of its thing and let all the water drain through the toilet. That's not a horrible idea. Can you do that? We should have done that earlier. It doesn't matter once it was in here, it's done. But. Came to help the tanners. And I'm in like tears for them. It's just stuff. Uh, Everybody say. Hey, I know. Okay. That's going fast. Right? So much faster. Wow. Okay, we got water going down the drain now. Here, where's this hose? Oh, I have to make it the same. Oh, that's gonna drain way It's gonna go really fast, yeah. The toilet working? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's whirlpool. Cool. This is a floating floor. It's floating. It's, it's literally like five inches up off the floor. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh. But doesn't that, isn't that stuff waterproof? I don't know. It's going to expand like crazy once this dries. Yes, that's yeah. the sad part. Yep. So I hope this doesn't expand too much. It will though. I hope this doesn't expand too much. It will yeah. though. But it's just the bottom half. I think we'll be okay. What's in here? All of the paper. I mean, there's nothing really down there. Oh, that's, that's good much. stuff down there. It's just a bin. Yeah. Dang. Oh, there's some water that came in right there. Uh-oh. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, crap. That, Where is that? That's back. That's a ba bathroom.
everywhere in here. It was up to that bottom stair. And look at this. Look at the shattered window from the water. Oh, it was double pane. I thought it wasn't. Can you dry those out right now? Oh no. Was that the only one? We had to tear up the floor in here to get to the water, to the lowest level of water we could. You can see the boards themselves on, on the floor are warped. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen along this edge. Quite a bit of water in here, but it's not ankle deep. The water, the water was actually up to here, about right there. It shows, yeah, you can see the water line right here. Right to there, that's how deep the water was. These boards are pulling away on the side. Expanding over there. We had to pull the carpet up. Pull the carpet up here. Pull the carpet up over there. I can't believe it held that much water. Okay, I want you guys to look up there. Look up here. That's how deep that water got before it broke. So that thing broke with so much pressure that that glass from that window ended up all the way over to that wall with the water. It's kind of sad now, it's like, now what? We go to bed, that's what, it's 2.30 in the morning, right? 2.30, 2.45? We go to bed and, and hope that the guys show up early enough to get going and not too early that we don't get any sleep. They said early in the morning, that could be four or five o'clock in the morning, I don't know. We appreciate people that are professionals though, that know how to take care of stuff. Apparently we're not the only ones awake still and working at getting rid of water um, downtown. I can see four different areas where there are cop lights and at least five more, one, two, three, four more areas that have construction work uh, lights on right now. So there's a still a lot going down, um, down there. They had to shut some roads down. I love this picture of Sarah, look at that. I love this picture of Sarah. I used to have that in my car, right? Mm -hmm. My Mustang. Is that what it was? Yeah, it was in the in the front part of my Mustang. I had that picture. Looking at these, this is why we do family history on video now. Yeah. Flooding can't change that, right? Yeah. I'm so glad these didn't get ruined. I mean, they're a little bit ruined, but not completely. Seven hours later, and most of the water is out of the basement. Yeah, most meaning it was eight inches. Me, nine, yeah, nine, nine, and half, in, nine, nine and a half, half inches, inches, and now there's only like one inch, half, right? Half, half an inch, if you average it out. Either way, there's still there's still water in there. We just walked out front to tell Branson by, and our neighbor came out and said his basement totally flooded as well. So he's has they, they got to do the same thing. Yeah. Um, got word that he he said that he knew someone that was driving on the road downtown and the water was up to the windows on their car. So there's people that have their houses totally got. Yeah, it's crazy, today. craziness. It was a it was a wild storm. Yeah, it really was and I I just hope that it tamed some of those fires in California. It didn't hit California. It, it was just right here. Oh man. I well, I'm just hoping the smoke there's out nobody, of the air. <laughs> I hope there's nobody in the canyons that got. Yeah, in the slop hurt. canyons. That's terrible. So, anyway. But it's just stuff. None of our family was hurt. Nope. And we had lots fact, of help. Here. And yeah, they. We were all together. Yep. And so it worked out perfectly. And yep. there's only good that can come. So. Yeah. You got to look on the bright side. And we will. Yep. And thank you guys for being concerned for us. We know that mm -hmm. um, we put out Instagram stories today and some Facebook stories. And we've got so many people reaching out to us. And, family and friends just asking if they could help. And Jace yeah. Bennett came over and brought his pump and that really helped us. And, and um, yeah, yeah, so we appreciate the you guys. The kids are safe and it's all, we but have come back so tomorrow. much support. Yeah, come back tomorrow because there is, yeah. Now we gotta see the other we're, damage. We're gonna see what kind of damage is behind the damage Door that we see. Door number one. Oh, <laughs> they're gonna probably come in here and be like, 
you're gonna be hundred thousand dollars in damage. Oh man, I just really hope that. So my mom was saying that we're not since we're not in a flood zone, disaster relief should be on our homeowner's insurance. We'll so see. we're just yeah. praying and crossing our fingers that that is true. This is gonna be an expensive fix, mm -hmm. and we pay we pay our insurance. We've always paid our insurance, which would be nice yeah. to to be able to use that. But um, insurance companies are going to fight it pretty hard because there's a lot of people in this area that just got hit too. So anyway, yep. thanks again for we'll you guys. You. Yeah, we love you guys. And as always, you, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Bye.